I collect Chinese and Japanese stones and I ran across this for sale from another collector and I had no notion what it was. They had it priced for $40 and I bought it because I just thought it was a beautiful natural piece. This is a type of mushroom in China called a lingjer. 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 Okay. They come in different sizes and they are ubiquitous throughout Chinese art. Okay. So you see lingjer images on all types of Chinese works of art, okay. be it painted porcelain, carvings on jade, images and paintings. It has a connotation of long life, longevity, mm -hmm. and it does have medicinal properties in Chinese medicine. Sure. It's a terrific example because it has this fan shape, mm -hmm. which is a little unusual. Mm -hmm. And it's got this wonderful kind of texture, this uneven fold, like folds upon folds upon folds, uh -huh. which gives this sense of great age and antiquity. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's part of the mythology that surrounds this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn it around. But you can see the back of it has uh -huh. that kind of color that you see on a lot of mushrooms. Uh -huh. To come across such a nice big specimen mm -hmm. is pretty extraordinary. Okay. The vast majority of these are much, much smaller. Oh, I see. So this was worthy of having as a specimen something that would be prized. That someone would cherish. And it would be dried specifically so it would be able to be fitted on a stand. Okay. And the Chinese have this love of man's interaction with a natural world. Okay. So it's, sure. a, it's a work of art created by nature. Exactly. And preserved by and man. And that's always how I felt about it. This was likely found in the first half of the 20th century someplace. Okay. It's a great example of this type and it has some good value. I Doesn't believe at auction it would be worth somewhere between $800 and $1,200. Wow.